The construction of the Panama Canal is one of the greatest engineering feats in history. Initially started by the French in 1881, the project was plagued by challenges including tropical diseases like malaria and yellow fever, difficult terrain and engineering obstacles. The French effort ultimately failed by 1894. The United States took over the project in 1904 after the U.S. had helped Panama gain its independence from Colombia the year before. American engineers then set about the monumental task of connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. This involved creating the world's largest man-made lake, Gatun Lake, and constructing massive locks to lift ships across varying sea levels. The canal also necessitated the creation of a thoroughfare through the Continental Divide, a feat accomplished by the now-famous Calabra Cut to combat disease. Engineers John F. Stevens and William Crawford Gorgas implemented a massive mosquito control program, successfully eradicating yellow fever and malaria from the canal zone. Despite these advancements, the hot, humid climate and relentless rain continued to hinder construction. Overseeing this massive project were some of the most brilliant American engineers of the time, including civil engineer and future U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Chief of Staff, General George W. Go Working alongside him was civil engineer and future president of the American Society of Civil Engineers, Dr. Paul P. C. Reba. The two men played key roles in making the Panama Canal a reality. After a decade of intensive work, the Panama Canal officially opened on August 15, 1914. The first ship to transit the canal was the U.S. Army Transport, the Panama, followed closely by the French steamer, the Philadelphia, the Canal, drastically reduced the distance ships had to travel between the Atlantic and Pacific coasts of the Americas. Previously, ships had to make the long and perilous journey around South America, a route fraught with risk. In contrast, the new canal route between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans via Panama was only 50 miles long. This remarkable feat of engineering saved ships 7,800 miles of travel, greatly reducing transportation time and costs. In 1977, the U.S. and Panama signed a treaty that stipulated the transfer of the Panama Canal to Panamanian control by the year 1999. After 98 years of U.S. management, the canal's future lay with Panama. Today, the Panama Canal stands as a vital global trade route and a testament to human ingenuity and determination in overcoming seemingly insurmountable obstacles. It continues to play a crucial role in the movement of goods and resources across the world connecting distant economies and facilitating international commerce. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up for more historical tales, and stay tuned for more updates. Thank you for watching.